what are the top 10 considerations for modernizing your data integration from critical components, uh, pain points, up to the results that you should expect as an organization. Vinayak Devi is a professional service manager at Equalum, and he's here to talk us through the most important items. Welcome, Vinayak. Thanks for having me. You've worked with big data and streaming data integration for over 30 years. You're, you're a real veteran, a big data veteran. And, and based upon your experience, what are the key challenges for companies trying to build a scalable, high-performing, efficient data integration approach? Sure. So in the integration space, uh, companies have many use cases and also many solutions to choose from. So typically what happens is in an effort to build highly scalable and efficient uh, integration solution uh, with the data integrity, uh, they would like to sometimes start out with do-it-yourself approach. So in an effort to build in-house uh, solution, they would require like a, an army of developers and probably a year or more of time to build this solution themselves. And that is typically just one source and one target and not necessarily comprehensive. So for example, in a month time frame, a new use case comes across, they will have to start the same process again. So it's basically lots of uh, you know man hours and very effective uh, from the organization's point of view, but not effective cost-wise. So it's not scalable from that approach. Sometimes you know companies try to build different solutions from buying something off shelves. Like so, for example, if they will have ETL use case, they will get a new tool from a vendor, and for batch and streaming type solutions, there will be other tools. So there will be hodgepodge of tools. Now, again, they will need multiple teams to maintain and uh, care and feed for those things. That's, again, not going to work. So what happens is, even with all those solutions, either they do it yourself or buy it, they don't have required functionality. So like pain points are around, can they do schema evolution? Meaning if the source changes the table structure, can they do the same thing on the target? or is the data quality going to be assured where it will not require rework and uh, reloading of the tables, which will be the last thing customer would like to do. So these are the kind of challenges that they face on a day in and day out basis. And the question centers around uh, what if we can get something that is like a unified solution under one roof with one company, so you can meet not only your current needs, but also your future requirements and evolving use cases. And you have set up many successful data integration solutions. Can you share your top 10 critical components? Sure. So uh, I have kind of put together like uh, 10 most required uh, you know, features or things to look for in an, any tool that you buy off the shelf. And uh, I will start out with the most important criteria, but least appreciated. Uh, that's something called exactly one semantics, meaning the data needs to be delivered only once, not less or more than one. So that is something difficult to achieve, but that's required because if you don't have that, then again, it will require historical load and you know it can take hours and days to do that. Another thing to look for is efficient change data capture process, meaning that you don't want to tax your source database server much at all. So it should be nimble enough and uh, quick enough to give you the DMLs that happens on the source, and it should be able to capture it in near real time. Um, like I said, if you want unified tool, you should also look at a tool that has an ETL designer. So if your workflow requires not only simple replication, but things like joins or aggregation or lookup and things of that, that nature, you should be able to just drag and drop using the ETL designer and be able to achieve that with the one tool. Uh, another uh, important aspect is, and many times uh, contracts are won based on this ease of use. So you should have a very intuitive user interface under single pane of glass, you should be able to uh, achieve multiple use cases. So today, if you are starting out, let's say with Oracle to SQL 
uh, replication. And uh, next quarter, you have a use case which says DB2 to Snowflake. You should be able to do that repeatedly using the same UI, and it does not require training of multiple people. Uh, so that's ease of use. Um, another emerging uh, use cases are centered around uh, things like streaming sources, not streaming targets only. So things like Kafka and Kinesis and Events Hub also needs to be in the mix so the tool should be able to take the data from the streaming sources and take it to the eventual targets. Going down the list, uh, the tool should provide a breadth of support for various sources and targets to make it future-proof. So if your source or target changes, uh, you know, as the use cases evolve, you should be able to build on top of it using the same tool same UI and same team that supports, which should be much smaller than doing it yourself in house. Um, you should also be aware that there are uh, tools that can offer semi-structured data parsing. So if you have a JSON or XML data type, which may be embedded in your database, you should be able to flatten the data structure and pull the required column values out so that it's easy to be consumed by the downstream applications. Um, the tool should also have a scalability and high availability built in. So you should be able to just linearly scale by adding an extra node and be able to accommodate an increased workload. And also your critical components in the solution should not have a single point of failure. So they should have multiple instances of those components so that if one component or one instance of that goes down, you should be able to self-recover and heal. Uh, so that should also be a very critical from enterprise uh, operational point of view. And uh, for deploying your solution, um, you should have a choice. Either you want to do it on-premise or in the cloud or any combination of the two. So you should not be limited by what the vendor dictates. And uh, the last point is uh, multi-tenancy. So using that same resource pool of your cluster, you should be able to logically separate out the sources and targets and many times with sensitive data for those that require it. So there should be like a job-based uh, silos created using this tool so that you know the data uh, secrecy is maintained and if there's any PCI type data, you should be able to only let those who really need it. Yeah, I really like these 10 points. And if you then look to success cases, can you share success cases which applied these 10 points? What did these companies do well and what did they achieve? So in the last year and a half, I worked across uh, various verticals, you know, like financials, healthcare, retails. And I can quickly give out a couple of uh, use case scenarios. So a uh, few months ago, I was working with um, a health insurance provider in the middle of pandemic. And uh, they were having an issue confirming the status of those subscribers when they call into the customer service and they did not have the near real time data. And because of that, they were not able to fill some of the prescriptions. So what they did was they uh, you know, implemented a solution, keeping in mind these uh, 10 components and the features that I just mentioned, they were able to implement a near real-time solution and Kafka as a target uh, for this. And they were able to achieve that uh, for the satisfaction of their customer base. Uh, second use case was a large retailer in the US with hundreds of stores and they were trying to manage their inventory system better, more efficiently with a near real-time data of what items got sold, what is returned. So they were basically doing a near real time streaming of those point of sale uh, databases into their centralized inventory system. And they were able to achieve more efficient ordering of the items and better inventory management system. Vinayak, thanks a lot for these great stories and especially for this top 10, I really love it. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we look forward to see you next time.